Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a pink diamond Domana Sabonis gameplay. Shout out to my guy Unshadable for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. Before we dive any deeper, if you are new to my channel and haven't yet, please consider smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to a 50,000 subscriber. So the two best cards that came out today, no doubt are Sabonis and Giannis. And so looking at Sabonis here, the one downfall he does have is that he only has a 6'10 wingspan compared to his 6'11 height. 240 pounds, 94 three ball, 80 driving dunk. Boyado is a 79. Now, I don't know with, with Vogel, I think. Let's see, does he get upgrade the ball handle plus three? I'm gonna see if he has a shoe that, a, 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 you know, a, a decent enough shoe that I can apply to him to upgrade the ball handle. It doesn't look like it. So ball handling first a bonus, right? With floor general, with ball, a little bit of upgrade, you can get that to where it needs to be. Even looking at the defense though, an 87 steal, an 85 perimeter, 89 uh, interior, great rebounder, 87 speed speed bugs, as well as an 85 lateral quickness so pretty good on both ends of the court 95 driving dunk tendency happen on down to the defensive tendencies here which are pretty stellar through and through badge wise absolutely incredible 29 of famers catch two quarter specials pick and popper post spin technician dimer box intimidator moving truck rebound chaser post move lockdown also does come with bailout needed to a quick first step clutch shooter hot start range center hall of fame brick wall and as you guys can see steady shooter so i think sabonis on next gen is going to be even better because that is the hall of fame blinders badge 28 golds you guys can look through him he basically has everything you need badges i would look to maybe give him relentless ankle breaker pick pocket doesn't really need that chase down artist i would give him that contact finisher that's a big badge as well slippery off ball dead eye so he does missing he is missing some key badges yes his base card has 57 uh total badges but you i would definitely badge him out if, if you get the card because definitely could use some some of those extra badges looking at sabonis here in shoot around okay you can still burst with him and that's the speed with ball effect so even though his ball handle ball handle rating right now isn't where he needs to it needs to be obviously because he can't peak you can still see it right the speed with ball just look at the burst animation he gets at six foot eleven absolutely incredible that he has that ability kind of reminds me of an ad moses malone type burst with that speed with ball so that's something to definitely like for sabonis now let's see what his full court dribble sticks are like i don't think he has anything incredible we'll see okay okay i see his tween uh, yeah it's just nothing incredible for sabonis again that release is not a release i love i'll be the first to admit that now i'm not sure what it's going to look like on next gen and it's not the worst release it's better than like a hakeem elijah release but again it's not the best release in the world and it is greenable right especially with the hall of fame range he's a cheese ball but at the end of the day it's not one of the better releases on a center we have like it's not even comparable to an anthony davis moses malone type release now if you lock in if you're fully locked you still should be able to green the majority of your shots with sabonis especially from his hot spots from everywhere on the court you should be pretty knocked down with the card it is going to be intriguing to see like if he knocks down you know the 22 25 percent with that hall of fame steady because i know there's some people on current gen that don't mind uh steady i don't mind Kawhi leonard steady but for Kawhi, it's a little different because he's a shooting guard not a center my opponent here is running don old desmond mason Kawhi, sydney wicks and carl malone so not to say it will be a flood, but this could indeed get out of hand pretty quickly. I just wish everybody was forced to have a normal court color. Like they can customize it, but they shouldn't be able to customize the color of it because it's just, I wish everybody had the same court color because this is just not normal. But look at some bonus, my word. Minking on the first possession of the game. You love to see it. That's good defense too. Don't throw it. Do not throw it. Uh oh, hold on. Let me see something. I want to see if my... Oh, I think he can. I can. Hold up. Let me see something. Burst into the rim. Easy one. They caught a moving screen. That's so tough. Ah. Ah. Don't leave my man. Don't leave my man Sabonis open in the pick and pop setting. I promise you, you're going to regret it. Sabonis is 2-2 two two from deep so far in this game. That should be my bump low key. That's my bump. Thank you. Look at Sabonis. In transition. Gold showtime, I do believe. Show it off, Sabonis. Are we going to get another early quick? Get him out of here. I know that unlimited game was very, 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 very short. But in a in one minute of gameplay, Sabonis had two steals. Okay, he had two steals. 
He had eight points, including two of two from deep on greens and a showtime slam. Absolutely incredible. My team unlimited for performance from Sabonis. Let's see if he can do the same kind of thing in triple threat online. Look at my opponent here. He's running Steven Adams, Malik Seeley, and Jack Sigma. So he's running a pretty tall lineup. But I got some tall dudes as well, including Sabonis, who is, who is just looking really like the best right now. Oh, yeah, to the cup. Look at Sabonis showtime me. Oh, my word. I'm not going to lie. Sabonis might be the most underrated player in the game. It's really looking like that right now, the way he can handle the ball. And I like his player model. Now, a lot of people might be like, he is, his wingspan isn't this, that. That's fine. Look, I understand that. But look at how wide his player model truly is. What am I watching? Great defense. That's just a tough shot from Sigma. I want to get Sabonis in a pick and pop type of setting here. So let's see. Come here. Imagine. Are you playing? Yo, chill. Look at Sab Bro, I really, I really wanted to shoot that thing so badly with Sabonis. I'm telling y'all, I wanted to let that three fly. I mean, he's got steady. So who's saying he can't make a heavier two? Obviously, you don't want to shoot him, but I'm just saying, look at Giannis. He might be the best. Up to Sabonis. What do you got? I did not mean to do... What is going on? What? Did you just double dribble? Not Sabonis. Sabonis, he got like superpowers, man. 2K letting him double, double dribble and stuff. That's a good defensive rotation. I can't really be mad. That's just a bad take. Giannis, showtime me, baby. Yes, sir. Like, was that just me or did Sabonis really just double dribble? Look at Giannis. He is just flying. That's me. Good defense. Oh, yeah. We're moving on defense right now. Put some respect on Sabonis' range. That wasn't green. It should have been. But, man, the Hall of Fame range on Sabonis is something a little bit different. Oh, my goodness. He just killed me. Look at Sabonis. Rim protector. I love it. Come here. Oh, yeah. Burst me. Look at... He's got takeover now as well. The burst, the range extender, everything combined for Sabonis is something just... In, in, is something incredible. It's good defense. What in the... I wanted to crab him. Peekaboo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You give him that ball control above where it needs to be, and it is a it is a sight to see for Sabonis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, another Showtime Slam. We got team takeover in Triple Threat Online, and quite honestly, feel kind of bad for my opponent right now. What am I watching? That should be mine. Good board. Good board. Look at this Sabonis and Giannis duo. Green from deep. That's got to be green. Slightly late. I see it. But it's got to be green, Todd. That's a good shot, Seeley. Like, that one's got to be green for me. I want to get him a look from deep. That's it. That's it right there. Green. It's too easy. Too easy for Sabonis with his Hall of Fame range. He can really hit from 30. Last possession of the game, hopefully. Let's see. Can we get Sabonis another look from, from the logo? Let's see. That's early. I could tell. Off the dribble, it looked like that release was just a little bit slower developing. Still not terrible. Just develop that a little bit slower. It's a bait. Don't throw it over here. What am I watching you shoot? He's just shooting anything. Make a play, Sabonis. Ah. Nah. The way he can dribble, obviously right there, he came over and helps out. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm a cheese ball. I'm a cheese ball. Show me something, Sabonis. But just the way he can burst to the rim isn't fair. 19 points, 3 rounds, 1 steal, 8 of 12 from the field, and 3 of 5 from deep. Going into this video, I really thought Sabonis would be a top 10 center. That's kind of what I said and kind of what I stuck to. I really thought top 10 is really not, not that's all he could be, but that's really what I expected from him. But honestly, he's better than that. So we, I'm just going to compare him to some of the other top centers in the game. Anthony Davis. 6'10", 6'11". You look at the stats, Sabonis is a better shooter. Playmaking, they're pretty similar. Defense, I mean, obviously, 
AD as a defense shoe, so it's not really fair. But they are very, very similar. Like, they are very, very similar. And then you look at the badges, and I'm not going to lie. Very, very close. Now, the one thing is, AD just is a little bit better on defense. I'm not going to sit here and tell you Sabonis is better than Anthony Davis, because I don't believe that. But when you compare Sabonis, let's say, to a Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, obviously, Hakeem and Sabonis, they have... I won't, I'll, I'll say similar releases. I like Sabonis' release on current gen a little bit more. Sabonis has him in the three ball category, driving dunk. I'll say this, Hakeem stat-wise looks like really the best center in the game, but it's just his release that really kills him. And then badge-wise, you look and Sabonis obviously has the edge in the badges as well. Considering Hakeem doesn't even have the Hall of Fame quick first step, and obviously Hall of Fame range, there's just some other things Sabonis does give you on the court. So I will be sitting here and lying to you, everybody. To everybody, if I had said Sabonis, isn't easily a top 10 center now outside of top 10 it's hard to really overstate anything because i don't want to i don't want to go too far in saying anything crazy i do love him a lot i think he has every capability of being a top five center in the game what amount of mt would i pay for sabonis well here's the thing about sabonis that i do like people are going to be ripping these packs for really everybody because if you, if you want to look what packs they're in, they're in these, uh, they're in this Pantheon packs. So people are going to be ripping these packs. And so the good thing is Sabonis is not one of the better pulls. So people are going to be pulling him quite a bit. And Sabonis isn't that type of a name. Like he's not a super flashy player as well. So like I said, guys, as far as the best budget center in the, in the game, don't look too far, guys. I'm telling you guys, do not look too far. Sabonis for 40K is an absolute steal i'm going to say it him for 40k is a steal make sure guys if you are on, on a no money spent type of account to pick this demonis sabonis card up 40k mt for a guy like this it blows my mind absolutely crazy the best value center in nba 2k21 i hope you guys did enjoy the video drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day